The use of plastic is deeply ingrained in our day-to-day -day lives, from being used as plastic bottles, to bags, to sachets, and even labo bags. In reality, 300 million tons of plastic are being produced by corporations globally, with 50% of it being single-use plastics. In the Philippines, around 164 million plastic sachet packets, 48 million sanda bags, and 45 million labok bags are produced daily. But as consumers of all things plastic, how much do we really know of the process that goes behind its production? First, raw materials like natural gas, oil, or plants are refined into ethane and propane. Ethane crackers are plants that make the first step in creating plastic by taking in fossil fuel chemicals and turning them into building blocks of plastic. More than causing harm to the environment, chemicals released by cracker plants are related to a host of serious health issues, such as increased rates of asthma, lung and respiratory infections, heart problems, fatigue and nausea, poor birth outcomes, and neurological issues such as memory impairment. In large doses over time, these chemicals can cause cancer. What makes this worse is that most cracker plants are built near communities that are low income and communities of color. Ethane and propane go through several more processes and treatments in the cracker plant, which eventually create nurdles, commonly called as plastic pellets. Nurdles, which are building blocks for all plastic goods, are tiny, persistent, and potentially toxic especially to marine wildlife like seabirds, fish, and crustaceans. After nurdles are made, they are handled and transported to different countries in billions, and millions to billions of them can spill in bodies of water. 250,000 tons of plastic nurdles enter the oceans annually. Once plastic industries receive the nurdles, they are shaped and molded into the plastic products like bottles, packaging, and bags that we see now. Despite the glaring fact that the creation of plastic affects our planet and our people, plastic is still Big Oil's great hope for expansion. In fact, plastic production is still slated to grow 40% by 2030 and 20% by 2050. If you want to learn more about the serious impacts of single-use plastics to our planet and the people, visit EcoWaste Coalition's Facebook page. Join our call to end plastic pollution in the Philippines by signing our petition at tinyurl.com slash sup ban petition.